Welcome everyone. We have friends from all over the place, from Australia and from the US. And uh, welcome to everybody that is watching this recording. Uh, today we're going to talk about MetaPower Assist. And this is really exciting. This is like a game changer um, for everyone's health and then for everyone's business as well. Okay, you're, gonna sh you're sharing a, a powerful tool to, um, to help the world. So this information will be found in my book. Uh, and if you have the Kindle version, it'll be updated first. So uh, when I get to it, you'll, you'll be the first to know. Okay. All righty, guys, let's, uh, let's get going. Um, does anyone have any questions? Or I'll ask for some, um, some stories, some experiences in a minute too. See, um, I have some friends that have asked to come on if they can make it. Um, okay, so this is the MetaPower Assist. It comes in an itty bitty little bottle and it has 30 capsules, um, so it's be good for the month. The, um, the idea is to help us understand the link between health span, the biological aging, and metabolic health. Okay, so it's going to teach us about um, metabolism a little bit more. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about MetaPower Oil, MetaPower Advantage, um, and um, now we're going to talk about assist. It's all part of a whole um, program. Uh, so, you know, these MetaPower tools, uh, it slows down the biological aging, right? So that's a good thing. Um, and uh, the idea is to put more into your life, okay, into your years. Um, so there's under 7% of the US population have optimal cardio metabolic health. So that means 93% of the population, they don't have good metabolic health, okay? So that's, that's so what, sad. Yeah, that's a lot of people that uh, we can help. Okay, so first of all, you want to know that um, the MetaPower oil is part of this um, product, okay? So that's grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, cinnamon. Everybody should be taking that MetaPower oil like daily, okay? Just put it in your water bottle. Make sure you're using glass um, or ceramic or you know a stainless steel and just sip it throughout the day. These oils are concentrated, okay, plant medicine. So that means it goes into your cells, open your cells up, release the toxins with the fat, okay? So everybody should be using these oils. Um, I have a friend that says, hey, I, pour, I squeeze a lemon in my water. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> this is so much stronger and it's therapeutic as well, okay? So, you know, this will help you go to the bathroom more, okay? Um, so everybody needs to be going to the bathroom and, um, you know, doing number two at least three times a day, okay? Otherwise your food is festering inside of you. It's you know, sucking your energy. So, you know, once you start doing this regularly, you, you're not peeing more, pooping more, and you find that, hey, you're thinking clearer, you've got more energy, and everything, everything will be better in life, okay? Relationships and work, all that. All right, so there's two other ingredients in the metabolic assist. Um, so it's mulberry leaf extract and berberine hydrochloride, okay? So those two, we'll talk about it later. Um, and I'm really excited to share with you that information. Um, so just for those people who haven't, haven't been here before, um, the word meta, okay, is part of the meta power blend um, name. It means uh, metabolic also, okay, but it also means comprehensive and transcendent, all right? And the power is power, but also it's an acronym for personal wellness realized. So, you know, all of that meaning is just jam-packed in that word. And really, that's what we're trying to achieve with everyone, right? We want people to have optimal health as much as possible in whatever stage they're at. So I can ask, you know, anybody here that has been using the oils for, you know, a couple of years or more, if every single month they um, become aware of a higher level of wellness that they kind of didn't expect right so like you know a couple of months ago you know you, you thought you were great 
and then you know a couple of months now uh, has gone by and then you're like uh i'm even better now right and it's like i didn't know i could there's this higher level and that's what we want to to help people with all right so um you'll see and you can you're welcome to ask questions guys okay um and just just hit the hand button and then we'll stop and talk because this is for you all right we want everyone to understand and if you have a question people probably have a question too yeah go ahead sierra mine's not a question but actually um just wanted to share one of my unexpected uh things how you said every month you yeah. noticed something different was i didn't expect that i would eat food and and know in like a couple of bites that I should not eat any more of this. Like literally my, my stomach can immediately tell me you don't want yeah. this. You know, yeah. I, when I went out to New Mexico, that happened yeah. to me and we yeah. went to a restaurant that I used to go to every single time we would visit. And I ordered the same thing I always did. And immediately my stomach just turned and I was like, uh, I looked at my husband. I was like, I'm so sorry, but I can't eat this. Yeah. So no, yeah. it does. Your body is um, communicating with you and you're hearing it clearer. That yeah. was unexpected. Yeah. yeah. And that was, that was definitely food. an unexpected change. Yeah. It's that's a good beautiful. change though. Yeah. And, and I crave, um, I was hoping that this would happen, but I really, I'll tell you, I was skeptical. I didn't really think this would happen, but I actually crave like healthier food. Yes. I'm actually craving vegetables a lot more yes. than I ever, ever did. Yeah. Um, and all the cravings for the like sweet stuff is, is gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. I've heard that too. It's so good because your body is telling you and you're hearing it better. Um, as one of my friends said, she was sneaky and she was trying to eat a cookie, you know, and she took a bite. <laughs> and like, yeah. Yuck. <laughs> and it's, it just lost its appeal, you know? And she's like, wow, that's surprising. You know, I was just going to be naughty and sneak a bite and nah. So that's so much easier than willpower. This tastes so good. This tastes so good. <laughs> but willpower, no, it's, willpower is not going to, you know, win at, at the end of the day, right? Uh, so no GMO, no dairy, no soy, no gluten, no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no flavors. Okay, so that's fantastic. The oils actually are natural um, preservatives anyway, so pretty good here. Um, so take one capsule with water, fifteen to 30 minutes before a large meal. So if you're drinking a lot of water, okay, it's gonna help expand inside of you. So imagine it being like this cushion that catches the food, right? And then it helps you, you know, slow down all of the carbs and absorbs the sugar slowly, kind of balances it out. That's what, you, you know, visualizing it um, will help you kind of see what it's doing for your, um, your body, <clears throat> okay? All right, so what you wanna do is ideally eat it with the highly um, nutritious and fiber rich foods because all the fibers and stuff helps with, um, you know, the stabilizing of the blood sugar as well. Okay, so that's the ideal. And eventually your body will be teaching you how to eat. Um, it's interesting, but it, just, just look out for that. Okay, so what is preventing you from living your most powerful life? Because we're talking about personal wellness realized here, right? So some, this is the top answers. You know, people say, I just don't have enough energy to work out and to do stuff. Um, got weight problems, so I can't be moving very much or my knee hurts. Um, you know, you don't feel like it. You have this mood issue, right? And then... You don't have good sleep, so you wake up tired and the mental clarity is not there. And then, of course, lots of stress. Too much on my plate. Just, you know, can't make time for healthier foods and healthier lifestyle. All right. What do you guys think? True? Okay. So what we're trying to do in doTERRA is teach people a whole new lifestyle. We're not selling a product and that's it, right? We're teaching people to live differently and to be part of a community that can be supportive. Um, and, you know, we remind each other to, you know, do all the things that we need to do to take care of ourselves. And then it becomes a habit. And then it's, it's not, um, 
you know, a lot of effort, okay? So that's the, the idea. So what we wanna promote is this wellness lifestyle pyramid. And of course, at the bottom there is nutrition and digestion. Okay, movement and metabolism, you know, resting, managing stress, uh, reducing toxicity. So that's why I mentioned, you know, if you're taking these oils on a regular basis, you find that the body cleans itself, your kidneys are cleaner, your organs are cleaner, okay, your skin is clearer, and your body's absorbing more nutrient, okay? And we teach people the skills for the informed self-care. So one of my friends, um, her daughter comes to my house in the morning to do Bible study, and her daughter's not doing great. So I'm texting her saying, how is uh, so-and-so? And she's like, well, she's got this and this and this. And so I'm all, okay, here's the skills. You know, use this oil, do this for that, and do this and that. And she's like, oh, great, thanks. And once you learn that, you know how to take care of yourself, okay? But that is only a little part of the big picture, okay? The big picture, if you have you know, supplements and nutrition, great, sup um, you know, sleep, you just reduce the chances of you catching stuff and, you know, being sick. So that's the idea. So this October last month was marked 12 years for my family since we started using the oils and, you know, learning this lifestyle. And I have not taken my kids to the doctors for anything besides two fractures. I mean, we, we did, you know, wellness checkups and then, you know, our school sports physicals and stuff. But nothing, <laughs> and I'm like feeling so different to how I used to be. Like this, this anxious mom. Am I you know, taking care of my kids well? And don't let my kids catch stuff. And I was all nasty about food and all that. And now we've learned all the skills, and and things have been great. So I hope that will be you guys, okay, um, as you adopt this lifestyle. Okay, so with DoTerra. Um, the doctors at conventions um, shared this picture. And what it is, is, you know, the reality of our society. People put in a hole, you know, at, uh, closer, later on in life, um, they, they spend so much money, so much effort to extend life a little bit, but the quality of life isn't that much. You know, in fact, most of these people spend the last few years of their life on lots and lots of medication, unable to do stuff. So their health span isn't that great, okay, compared to how much effort they put into um, extending their life. So what we want to do is introduce a whole new idea to people. And it's, you know, giving people this, you know, longer lasting health span as long as their life, okay? Um, so it's the orange um, line that we want to follow. And it can be done. I know my great grandmother was like that. She was healthy, healthy, healthy until she was 89 and she went to bed and she passed away peacefully. She was never sick, like in bed and needed, needed anything. She was out working in the fields and decided she wanted to come home and have a nap. And that's how it should be, right? That's what it can be. So let's, let's work for that and not lower <laughs> our expectation and standard for us. What do you guys think? You want to do that too? Ding, ding. Yeah, let's do that and we'll support each other. So um, the scientists in doTERRA were sh sharing us with us this idea of um, the blood sugar spikes are like, you know, riding a roller coaster every day. You know, maybe, you know, once in a while, or twice a year, maybe, <laughs> if you like roller coasters. Um, but that shouldn't be the case all the time. I mean, it, it kind of wears your body out physically, right? And then the blood sugar does the exact same thing. Okay, it wears your body out and um, it's actually not good for us. So go ahead, Sierra. I can actually share with this one. So um, I was told that I was hypoglycemic, which is uh, low blood sugar, mm -hmm. um, not pre-diabetic or anything like that. But um, um I mean, it, it's been around for as long as I can remember, um, where if I wasn't eating regularly, um, my blood sugar level would drop pretty drastically to the point I would get the shakes in my hands. Um, I would start feeling lightheaded. Um, and then I would feel the nausea. And then after I felt the nausea, I knew like I needed to hurry and get either peanut butter or, um, 
orange juice or glucose tablets in me quickly because um, I would I could pass out. I, I have passed out in the past. Um, so I've never let it get to that point since like after my first child was probably about a year or two years old. Um, I had an incident where my mom and I, we were just so focused on what we were doing that I forgot I had not eaten breakfast and it was like 1130 in the morning and I, it, it happened like super, super quickly and we were out in public and we were begging people for food, anything, um, because it, it just, it, it becomes quite scary actually. Um, so I can't imagine even being a diabetic where it's much more uh, serious when that happens. Yeah. Um, so I, when they talked about this at convention, I was really, really like my ears perked up. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I want to hear more about this. I can totally testify that, that it totally levels you out. I don't even get hungry in the morning until around 1130. Yep. Um, I, I like, it's okay for me that I'm not purposely fasting longer, but that's what's happening. Cause I'm, I don't want breakfast most mornings. Um, and I don't have any shakes, any dizziness or lightheadedness, no nausea, nothing like zero symptoms. I think if they were to test me now, they would probably say, no, you're not hypoglycemic because I feel like my blood sugar is totally more normal and leveled out. Um, so I don't, I hope I never have those experiences again. So yeah. um, this has been huge difference yeah. for me personally. Yeah. Um, you know, the losing weight on top of that is just like a super bonus, but this alone was like worth me using it. So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm the same. And I'm, I'm, I know that a few of you are the same too. At first you wake up and you're like, I need to have some food inside of me quickly. Um, you know, cause I get kind of dizzy and lightheaded. And then I get to shakes like you too, um, if I wait too long. But yeah, now I can do stuff and get on with things. And I have all this energy and this mental clarity. And, you know, we're doing great with all the oils and supplements already. We're doing great. And I'm all, okay, let's see what this can do. Ha, ha, ha. And it was like, whoa, hey, there's a new level that I didn't even realize it was there. Um, so yeah, my sister just made the comment the same. Yeah. So yeah, we don't get hungry until maybe 10 o'clock and 11 sometimes. Um, Yep. So and also I've never been able to, um, do a proper, like a real fast, fast. for church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, so, I mean, I, I do my version of a fast where I would, I would have peanut butter something with me and I would have, um, a small thing of orange juice just to keep my blood sugar up until I could break the fast. Yeah. Um, but now I, I don't have to worry about that. I think it's going to be just so easy now. Yep. So. Yeah. And your meta power oil, you know, stops you from feeling that hunger pain. Um, yep. There's just all of these together. It just kind of completes the picture. So, so good that they thought about all of these angles. Um, yeah. So here's a study, you guys, it's a two week study. So the first week um, they gave these people just a regular breakfast um, and just a continual uh, glucose monitoring. So it's not just like take your blood sugar here and just have snapshots. They can just, you know, watch these people for the whole week. So they had this, um, you know, um, I guess the reader attached to them, you know, for the whole time. So that's after the first week, they, they you know, looked at what um, it looked like on Saturday. And so the next week, they started everyone, the 15 patients, on the MetaPower assist, all of them, okay? And there was a significant difference. So 13% difference, right? That, that is huge for the scientists. They, they call it statistical significance. So it was double blind, placebo controlled and all that. Um, so yeah, um, you know, I was thinking to, your, to myself, all my friends that uh, suffer from diabetes, I mean, um, you know, we're not talking about curing people here. We're just, you know, supporting people to help them maintain that, that uh, level. Um, so I have a friend. She is all natural, everything. Her daughter had um, the type 1 diabetes when she was uh, 8 or 9, I think. And this girl, she's, she's changed her daughter's life um, by changing diet, taking lots of supplements and oils and things. And when she heard of this, she was like over the moon excited. So I wanted to her to 
join me to, to share how it's going. So anyways, um, it's okay. We'll share next time. Yeah. Isn't that great, guys? Yeah, we want this. We want that line that's leveled like that. So good. Um, so Nicole Stevens, uh, the doctor in doTERRA, she says, well, you know, this blood sugar spike is kind of like you're driving fast and then, you know, pushing down on the brakes and then stop and then do it again and then again. So it kind of wears out your, your car, wears out your tires, wears everything out. OK, um, so it's kind of like, you know, every time you have a spike in your system, it ages you. So if we can just stop the spiking, what is it doing? You know, it kind of slows down the aging. That's brilliant. Okay, so remember that. So when we're doing these oils and products all together in the system, um, you know, one thing supports the other thing. Okay, it makes a huge difference. So if we're not going to experience that um, spike. So even if you do like a quick um, search, um, go to PubMed. Okay, PubMed.gov. Um, that's like where they um, have peer reviews and the medical community, they publish their work on there. Okay, so it's um, you know, very uh, credible. Okay, if you do a quick search on say mulberry leaf, you can get a whole bunch of things. Like this is anti-obesity, another anti-obesity, right? And you know, it talks about um, you know, fat and, and uh, rats and mice and stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, there's so many um, studies out there that says that this has been um, very helpful um, for reducing um, the blood sugar and, you know, leveling it out. So this here, uh, we have, I think, 250 milligrams of that in our supplement, our cyst. Okay, so mulberry leaf, um, basically, it helps with all carbohydrates that you eat. So you don't have to be worried about, oh, is it complex, is it simple? All of them. It'll going to treat them all as slow carbohydrates, all right? So it'll help balance the spike, okay? So like I said um, here, while complex carbohydrates are more sophisticated um, to digest, making it slower to process and less likely to spike your blood sugar, um, you know, it's going to do the same with the uh, simple carbohydrates too that usually spikes our blood sugar. Okay, the mulberry leaf has been used for centuries in many civilizations. And it's the mulberry tree, it's interesting, it's mentioned in the Bible as well. Um, the Greeks, um, you know, it says the red berries of the mulberry tree carry the symbolism of star crossed lovers and of final union of death, you know, because it starts with white and then it goes red and then it goes really, really black, um, the, the fruit. Okay. The Chinese people um, said that it's like a link between earth and the eastern heavens. So this is a divine tree. So you can see that there's uh, symbols um, that they use um, in a lot of their artwork. Um, the Japanese too. Okay, it's uh, mulberry paper is used as vessels for offering in the Shinto shrines. And Japanese families use the mulberries as part of their family crest. Um, and strips of the fiber were hung from sacred trees as prayers, the mulberry silkworm silks, um, made kimonos um, to fit the ruling class. And uh, mulberry represents support, nurturing and self-sacrifice. So it's just interesting information that, you know, a lot of people in the world have been appreciative of mulberry um, tree and the leaf and, and the berries. Um, so. Okay, so this is the other ingredient, um, berberine, I think that's how you say it, hydrochloride. All right, so go to PubMed again and search up some of the studies and you can find uh, you can do a lot of things. So it's been shown to balance cholesterol levels, the blood, of course, um, and it helps with healthy heart function, right? And then it helps with healthy inflammatory. Okay, so here's a study, okay, with, to help with colitis, this, this ingredient, okay, um, and it can come from plants, it's not, can come, it comes from plants, the different parts of different plants, like turmeric root and stuff, okay. There's a study that 
um, suggests that it's anti-cancer. Um, okay, and here's, oops, <laughs> I underlined it before it came. Um, here's another one that's great for candida. Okay, so you can just look these up and uh, read up on the studies. That's right, really interesting. Um, <coughs> about anti cancer, it's anti tumor. And, um, bless you. <laughs> oh, bless whoever. Oh, sorry. Just now. Oh, sorry. No worries, Lisa. <laughs> okay, so here's a tip for you guys don't take Metapower Assist with Terrazyme because the idea behind the Metapower Assist is it slows things down, right? It helps us um, um, just kind of absorb it slowly. Um, it's not too slow, but it's slow enough to like kind of um, spread out the blood sugar energy. Okay. So what you want to do is choose a time that you're going to use it, right, with your meal. So I, I like to do it early um, in the day so that my energy level is sustained throughout the day. And then, you know, the other meals that I take, I'll take the Terrazyme with it. Okay. Um, so you want to do fibers and stuff with the MetaPower Assist. Okay. So with your MetaPower Advantage, you can take the Terrazyme with that as well, if you like, um, because it wants to, it just, you know, breaks things up and it kind of helps your body absorb the nutrients better, but not MetaPower Assist and Terrazyme together. Go ahead, Sierra. Hang on, you need to unmute. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, so since I am not really hungry anymore in the morning, if I do eat anything, it's like a boiled egg and, yeah. and juice because I, I used to, every morning I used to, um, with my breakfast, I would drink a, a tiny bit of apple juice mixed with water. Um, and I would add my fiber and my greens to that because it made it like really strong apple juice if I didn't add water to it. So um, I just started taking my, um, my uh, Terrazyme in the morning and then in the evening meal. And then I take the assist in the, uh, for lunch because that's usually my biggest meal of the day now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's how I broke it up after I found this out. Yeah, I, I do that too. I like that you mentioned that. And Debbie, she says she takes it in the morning and evening too. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. And then uh, when do you guys do the Metapower Advantage, the collagen? I do that um, kind of before lunch. It, mm -hmm. the, the one thing with it, and maybe it's good, maybe it's not, I don't know. Um, I, it doesn't, I take it before lunch, so I'm not really as hungry. It's like instead of just drinking a normal amount of water that makes you a little bit less hungry when you're eating a big meal, it's like double that because yeah. it, it also makes yeah. me feel fuller somehow. Yeah. yeah, I do that in the morning too. So when I'm not that hungry, I, I start with the MetaPower Advantage supplements I do. and then until I get hungry and then I do the cyst and then food. Yep. 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 Yeah. So I have got a system now. <laughs> you have to kind of decide what you want to do because I don't want to do it too late because you you want the energy right the sustained energy and like if I do it with dinner um I'm gonna to go to bed like in a few hours after that so you know yeah. I need all the energy throughout the day um and then if I do um probably the collagen you know and all the goodies that'll help me with energy too and I don't want to have too much energy because I might not be able to sleep yeah go ahead Lisa I was just thinking um, to take, is it good to take the um, advantage with the collagen um, after, at night just before bed? Because I just thought, would that be more helpful in, in repairing if you didn't want the energy, so to speak, throughout the day, like in repairing mm -hmm. overnight with the collagen? Or is it um, more? Both yeah, I would. In the day. Yeah, I would not. Um, it's not a bad thing to take with the collagen. Um, but I would rather the collagen and the terrazyme together. And then, you know, you've got your supplements. So just, I, I, I'd say MetaPower Assist, keep her on her own a little bit. 
yeah yeah not the assist though just the um like if i i have my long like all my supplements in the morning with enterazine yep. and but after i have my breakfast yep and or we could, which could be later you know about 10 or something yep. and then um I, I was doing the um collagen it's like after lunch like ha- not having lunch but before i ate my next meal and which was about a, you know it would be more than an hour after after that but then at night after dinner i have my next lot of you know supplements and the terrazyme and everything with that but then yeah. just before bed i was thinking maybe i should take it then because yeah. then it's doing its repair work and stuff yeah. overnight or- yeah so the collagen uh, um you talk about the uh, advantage collagen yes you can do yeah. it yeah. you can you can do it at night and that's fine because then it does oh, okay. its job at night time and build tissues and whatnot and we wake up real pretty <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah but just really the assist good. you know take it right before a big meal you know and and the yeah. idea is to have sustained um, blood sugar which is to me is just energy you know instead of spike and lots of energy and then oh dip right this is just yeah a, so i figured i have the whole day to you know, use up that energy yeah so like if you're going to take it like say an hour half an hour i think it says half an hour doesn't it before yeah. your main meal mm-hmm. so if i did that at dinner time at night and then have my supplements with the terrazyme in them normally have them like an hour late after i've had my meal and stuff yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's right you can do that just wait at least an yeah. hour because even the lifelines yeah. of vitality it has enzymes in there yeah right yeah of course yeah yep. yeah mm-hmm. yep so just kind of that's why i'm saying let her be alone for a bit with food <laughs> and mm. the idea is just to not have spikes right yeah so i think after about an hour or so it's it's done its job right and then you know we can add all the other goodies yeah that's the idea so it's good this is a good conversation guys yeah so course balancing blood sugar helps the gut helps with metabolism and appetite support just like the story that sierra shared you know the the oil is going to teach you um you know what you should be eating cellular support okay that means you know at the cellular level if your cells need to repair it helps it repair if it needs to trigger apoptosis then it will you know have die off so that it doesn't duplicate itself wrong okay um healthy weight and then it helps reduce the absorption of the carbohydrates uh, so Sally so uh, yeah because you were mentioning yeah with the drops in the water and then yes. the collagen packs mm-hmm. so okay. mixing all of this together brand new new person yep. here yeah no um, no it's good it's good let's let's review that um okay so the whole pack yep the whole the whole shebang what we do and then the <laughs> ladies can jump in and just tell me what you do if you do it different so i would um in the morning take the supplements lifelong vitality okay that's the foundation and you got enzymes and i would do the collagen at that time right and then i do the the meta power in water so just keep the meta power and water throughout the day it's good okay. with the assist it's good with everything okay, okay. so it's, that's you know it's it's fair with that um but then with the assist wait until you you have lunch right 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 before lunch and just take the assist without the other things that's that's the idea you're just enjoying your water with your drops throughout the day like you all day long yeah yeah yep and then what are you so with with the collagen powder are you just mixing that with water and having that in the morning Mm yeah mix that and then then take your vitamins with it i say yep. vitamins. yeah that's right exactly or you can so do like, i'll share something else with you too um so i have a friend who doesn't necessarily like the taste of the collagen powder mm-hmm. um, the advantage is what mm-hmm. it's called mm-hmm. um so she mixes it in a really small amount of water and chugs it really quick I I don't mind it at all I don't mind it t- it tastes like watered down tang to me so okay, it's, it's like, like a citrus flavor like a slightly <laughs> citrus flavor okay. and uh I just mix it in a I drink a like two swallows out of my bottle of water and mm-hmm. put it in there and shake it up it gets activated when you shake it up mm-hmm. and then 
um, drink it all at the same time. Yeah, just do it quickly because it activates yep. when it hits the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can do it like Lisa. I mean, do it before bed. And then is it fizzy? Is it a fizzy? It's not fizzy. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a I don't powder. do fizzy. <laughs> no, it's like a powder. And, that's, and some people like to add, like I've added um, the matter power assist to it, you know, because it just make the flavor stronger in that way. And then it mm -hmm. kind of cuts away. So, so with the yeah. so matter power so oil. With, Go that? ahead, Sally. Oh, so with the, so with the, I'm going back to the advantage. Yeah. Um, so do you only mix it with cold water or can see like right now I'm taking a collagen, not doTERRA, um, but I put it in my coffee in the morning because I'm yeah. a coffee drinker. So just, so just the water. But yeah. just the water, but not, you can't, it wouldn't be good to add with, with like tea oh, or anything. No, no hot, no hot down because down. it's alive and there's nine strains and I have a, a video, a 15 minute video on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just do a search on that. My friend, she does a lot of coffee. And she's huh. telling me after one month of all the Metapal products, she's only down to two cups. <laughs> oh, that's she great. Said, I just do one in the morning. It's not, it, I mean, that's I, great. I, it's, yeah, it's a, yeah. it's, it's not a wake up and get going kind of uh -huh. coffee thing. It's, that's my morning. That's just my morning time for myself. Yeah. And right. So that's why yeah. I was curious. Okay. So you're so not like, oh, I have to, you know, okay. No, that's good. That's so good. Okay. Uh, at least I don't all right. Have that was my question. No, no worries. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> good question. Go ahead, Lisa. So, so I understand that, you know, you can take the 15 mil, the oil in yep. drops in your water. Mm -hmm. That's that's fine. I understand that. A bit like the old smart and sassy type thing. Yeah. So, um, but however, the MetaPower soft gels, yep. are they exactly the same as the 15 mil oil? Because I'm taking them at the yep. same time with my long life vitality supplements so yes. is that still okay to be yes used? yep i do that in the morning so you've got a okay. you've only got a couple of drops in your water anyway so it's good for throughout the day but you know yeah. when you pack in your pill box yeah i put yeah. two uh, of the soft gels in there so i've got the extra oh. you know of the color the meta powers um oil yeah and so the, those soft gels are okay to take with the terrazyme though it's yeah. only the advantage yeah. one, isn't it? That's, yeah. and, and the assist that you've got to watch. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. You got it. Yep. So, of course, it has healthy fat metabolism, um, energy production, and healthy inflammatory response. Do you know what that means, guys? <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, we just have to speak compliantly, but yeah, you feel like your body doesn't ache anymore. You you feel like you can bend and things are more mobile. <laughs> so that's a good thing. That's yeah. a huge one. Yeah. Yeah. You can go up your stairs. <laughs> so I, I you know, remember Sierra's like, oh, I have to plan ahead, you know, when I get older, but I'm all, but like she got even better. So that's it. Um, all right. So let's talk about the emotional and spiritual side. It's really important for us to um, address all the levels of because otherwise we're using the products um, passively. So people, you know, they pop a pill, they, they wait for the, the product to work for them. Um, so I have done this for over a decade in helping people. Um, even if you use the most top quality products, um, if you're not changed on the emotional and spiritual level, it's not going to, you know, your body's not going to allow it to absorb. Okay, so you want to just kind of think about this too. So here is the emotion of the MetaPower Assist. It's about the sustained passion. Does that make sense? Sustained passion. Uh, it means to have a continual enthusiasm, love, passion, happiness, and energy for life each day. Yeah. Okay, choosing more faith and confidence can help you experience less dramatic highs and lows in your life. Okay, feel more stable and level-headed each day. Know that you can patiently manage whatever may come your way. And do you find that, ladies, that people that have been taking this for a couple of months already, do you find that? Are you more level-headed? Are you feeling like you're more stable? You come back to center again quickly. 
you have less highs and lows, even though drama might happen, you'd be like, pass. <laughs> yeah. Definitely uh, less moody. Less well, I have <laughs> Um, yeah, um, yeah, I've only taken a, a couple of these assists because I was a bit wary of, um, yeah, when, when I had to take them and, and, and what with and whatnot. So now that I'm a bit more informed about that, it'll be interesting to when I start taking this again. Yeah. Um, but I actually felt felt a, a bit of this, I think, with the advantage for some reason, I think. Yes. It's, yeah. Oh, I don't know whether that's No, right, the anyway. advantage <laughs> is, uh, you know, returning to wholeness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, okay. that's what I'm saying. All of these working together gives you this nice big support. Yeah. That's, that's so good. All right. So focus on daily actions on what brings you the greatest joy and then do that more. You know, a lot of people, they, they just do what they have to do and then they play later or not at all. Okay. And it's day in and day out. Okay. Uh, so to know what brings you the greatest joy, pay attention to the positive sensations of your heart and gut. And when you honor your heart and gut, your instincts, your mind will be enlightened with divine instructions and directions. Um, Sierra shared a perfect story. You know, she took a bite and yeah, no, I don't feel like I need to finish this. My, my body doesn't want this. Sorry. <laughs> right? You, you pay attention more. Um, so it's like honoring yourself, right? Instead of self-betrayal, um, you don't have to kind of hold your breath and oh, be okay with things. You're like, no, no, I, I like being happy and joyful <laughs> and I'm going to keep that feeling, right? Can you see how your body can metabolize sweetness, right? Instead of like, oh, when is this going to end? Utilize and freely access divine powers to sustain your efforts. So, so that's us ac accessing the um, power of prayer and things. It's your privilege, um, you know, to receive abundant divine love and support each day. Always maintain that heavenly link. Divine wisdom can help you patiently calculate your victory. Okay, so, you know, like the mulberry tree, it doesn't blossom until the, the cold completely goes away. It's interesting. It just, it will, it will wait as long as it needs to. So um, you do not need to panic or rush into things. So if you're in the habit in the past to panic, okay, push yourself into things, even if you're not ready, then you don't have to now, okay? You, you will be confident that with divine help, you will always be victorious at the perfect time. How about that? Like that, guys. Woohoo. <laughs> okay. As you continue to inquire of God to receive divine downloads, you can free yourself from fears, self imposed limitations, and distractions. This liberates you to be more for others. Okay. To be more for others. It's important because we live to serve, right? We live to connect to others. And when you're happy, you can be more for others. Um, you can lead a higher quality life where you are consistently operating in your zone of genius and joy. Okay, So that's you living your life's purpose. You're doing what you, you enjoy that you're good at you know, to serve humanity. Right, the assist was developed by... What's with me? Okay. Okay. Are uh, you reading um, Wish? Somebody to unmute a little bit. <laughs> I think it's Melinda. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, going back, doTERRA clinical and medical scientists um, to help raise the quality of your life on all levels, give yourself permission to enjoy life more regularly. Okay. And Metapower Assist contains the Metapower um, metabolic blend, okay, and additional herbs and photo, phyto nutrients. Sorry, um, the key ingredient is mulberry leaf, of course, and it's shown to slow or reduce the carbohydrate digestion by forty-two percent when taken with a meal. Um, this slows down the conversion of carbohydrates and to glucose, 
um, after we eat, often we get this giant spike and then drop um, of the blood sugar levels. But with the assist, you can experience a narrower blood sugar range. Okay. So according to the experts, blood sugar levels are one of the most significant indicators of your level of health. So these blood sugar um, levels naturally fluctuate depending on diet and lifestyle. Excessive high peaks and low valleys are hallmarks of metabolic problems. Okay. And prolonged elevated blood sugar levels can have permanent consequences on your body. It can lead to chronic health issues. Um, reducing and balancing the blood sugar levels can encourage the body to repair and renew itself on all the levels. So it's like if you're not fighting fire anymore, your body is able to be still and finally start repairing. Okay, so it's not on this high alert. So take time to enjoy life and refocus on what matters most. So what do you guys think? Sustain passion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jade, I can um, share. I just had a thought when you back where you were talking about. Um, like fear, you know, letting go of the fears, self-imposed limitations, distractions, and just having a higher quality of life and consistently operating in our zone and like our joy. And so, um, I remember back when I was, I was 36. So, you know, mid, mid thirties, and I was in excellent shape with, you know, my metabolism was, still, you know, intact kicking. And I had, and I was working out a lot. I was also teaching different, uh, like aerobic classes and, um, honing classes and things like that. So I was really, really in shape. And I remember feeling that energy, like I could help anyone. And, um, because I had extra energy to give. And it's been a long time since I personally have felt that extra energy. Um, so it's been really nice to feel that change recently. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm where I can be, yeah. but I can definitely feel a change already that, yeah. that I'm on my way. So um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing where I am, you know, six months in or, you know, next year this time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and not like, I'm actually looking forward to not feeling older, but to yeah. feel younger a yeah. year later from now, <laughs> you know? So that's no, kind of, sure. yeah. 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 My kids call me a vampire. They're like, ah, my mom's a vampire, you know, like um, in twilight, you know, and I'm like, why did you call me that? And they're like, well, we tell my friends that you're a mom and they're like, don't believe us, you know? <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> But, um, you know, we're, we're, you're right. You know, like doTERRA says, well, we have this, this biological age that's actually reversing when you're not, you know, your body's not constantly fighting this inflammation. What is it doing? It's going to start repairing stuff. So, you know, we have people saying, oh my gosh, my hair's thicker and it's growing in darker. What's happening? Right? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to that too. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And uh, so guys, as you take this, when you have more mental clarity, you have more stillness, you'll, you'll recognize, hey, um, why am I doing this? This doesn't make sense. I don't like this. Let's not do it. And then you start to honor yourself more and operate in your zone of genius and zone of joy more. Yeah. So um, we talk about the negative energy or negative emotions, just so that people can recognize some of the emotions that they experience that they can get rid of. Okay. So feeling bitter, bitterness. All right, so that's the motto for people with diabetes, okay? Life is bitter, okay? Feeling unstable, scatterbrained, joyless, discouragement, pessimistic, unenthusiastic, disappointed, right? Impatient, panic, and ungrateful. Sometimes we don't even know that we're experiencing these until later. But, you know, if we just pause and say, oh, this, this one stands out at me and is yelling at me, then maybe that's something we should look um, look into. Um, so, for example, if you're just unenthusiastic about things, you might say, "Why?" You know, and it's because I'm doing stuff that I don't like. You know, and can I can I quit doing that and, and doing something else? And uh, yeah, usually the answer is like, "Here is a solution," but I'm like, Ugh, "This whole time I was just 
going down this path. Any thoughts or comments? I just think about me cleaning my house out. Like that has been one of the most procrastinating things in my entire life um, is I just, I can't get rid of stuff, you know? And, and no, I can now, but like, I couldn't get rid of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just felt stuck. And that was definitely something I was procrastinating on. I had, you know, huge discouragement in, in even starting it because it was just an overwhelming uh, thought, even, even thinking about it. And now I'm just like, okay, which drawer am I going to pick today? <laughs> so now I'm kind of like, like excited about it or enthused mm -hmm. to like do another drawer, even if it's just something small, I'm like, okay, which drawer? Yep. So. Yeah, I love that. And it's funny how you, you're working on your physical health and then like on the outside and your environment is, is um, changing and healing too. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's neat. so cool. Um, our friend Ashley, I don't know if she's here tonight, but she she lost like 15 pounds in like six, seven weeks. I was like so proud of her. But what I saw though, on the other side, she was, um, you know, clearing out rubbish, like honoring herself really honoring herself and saying, ah, no, 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 you can't talk to me like that. You can't treat me like that no more. And I was like, oh, okay. It's just, you know, standing up for herself more. And that's, that's like clearing out the rubbish, right? Um, so yay, that's, that's what we're gonna experience guys. So just be ready for that. <laughs> okay, so we talk about negative thoughts and beliefs because these thoughts and beliefs lead to those feelings. Um, and if you see yourself or hear yourself saying these things over and over, that's why it creates the bitterness and the unenthusiastic okay so I'm discouraged and disappointed about my life in your mind if you hear that and repeat that um, it's not going to be surprising to you if you have this bitter feeling okay um, I feel bad resting and playing because there's too much to do do we say that you know if we keep on repeating that to ourselves what are we going to do we panic it's out of brain because we have to do this over here and over there and over here and, and you know that's how you live and that's that's the fighting fire with fire your body's not able to rest enough to just enjoy enjoy the sweetness okay and then good things don't last you know good things don't ever last so you, you see some people like that's nice but i don't know how when does the other shoe drop Ah, so when we think that we're going to have these negative emotions and we're going to keep on repeating the same things. So we're going to change that. Okay, guys, anyone want to comment or make any, um, you know, share anything? Yeah, I will actually. This yeah, is ahead, interesting please. because, because um, I think, I don't know how everyone else feels, but I think because of COVID too, we were always quite um, on edge about yeah. different things. And I think life is changing having this conversation with someone this morning in the fact that um we're all we're all a little bit anxious and on edge because mm -hmm. i think we can't plan anything much these days we feel like that because yeah. everything is changing so quickly and there's a lot of uncertainty i think out there and and i know for myself a while back it was like oh everything you know there was one thing went wrong after another after another after another with lots of different things and it was it was like oh then I had like a you know you kind of get like a breathing space we go oh, okay everything's calm for the moment but I had this overwhelming sense of but but I'm waiting for the next thing to go wrong I'm, yeah you know like I was on on edge and I'm like I've got this anxiety of yeah. well th there's obviously going to be something next so I'm not trying to figure out what it is so I can be prepared for it because yeah. I was so exhausted from all these other things constantly yeah. going wrong so yeah it's, it's quite interesting like that that last one there good things don't ever last and yeah. it's not that the good things don't last we kind of think well when it, it gets out of balance where we focus I tend to focus on the, all the bad things that are keep constantly happening rather than focusing on on the good things that are still there and are yeah. there yeah. and um th and can be there it's just mm -hmm. you know working working through that but yeah I've, I've definitely had that oh, feel, feel oh, bad sure. about resting yeah. and playing because you know yeah. there's always stuff to do and yeah. yeah and you just get yeah a bit um as you say discouraged and disappointed because you're like oh I can't get to what I would like to be doing because I'm always doing all these other things that have to be done sort of thing so yeah, no, yeah interesting I, I hear you I hear you Lisa 
And I think, isn't that perfect timing that doTERRA brought this out at this time? When yes. So yeah, many people just, need to yes. cover. It, it, it feels like we've all been traumatized, right? And we just have yeah. to go back to, you know, this balance again. And now they've brought this out. And I, I know I've got a couple of friends have been diagnosed recently with diabetes. Like, hello, I can see why now. Mm. Even though, and I've barely, my, some of my friends barely opened their houses and their homes up to visitors just recently because they feel safe enough. So, whoa, we all need mm. to, um, you know, unwind because, you know, it kind of snuck up and just kind of wound it up, itself up. So all this time, and now all of us are learning. And this is this is so great because we've got to support each other. we really got to support each other. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my friends in Australia, she's like, I've got all these doctors that, that need my help. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I know. Um, because, you know, there's this, this here has, is a whole new different level of support uh, for people. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. I was Sarah. actually talking oh sorry Sarah no 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 go ahead finish up yeah Lisa yeah um I was just thinking talking to someone who 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 is um diabetic and trying to understand a bit more about type 1 and type 2 and and stuff like that and um I was getting trying to understand well yep type 2 you know people you know you need to make these lifestyle changes and things like that and some people aren't willing willing to or don't know how to or you know feel overwhelmed that they have to and so this process you know gets interrupted on and getting the pancreas to work properly and all this sort of thing and then I said well with type one it doesn't she was saying that um you know I said does that mean the pancreas has stopped working you know so you've got to give yourself insulin to you know keep get yourself going and and whatnot and um you know and I just thought what and I said what actually makes the pancreas stop working or not function as it should to to make the insulin that you need and so forth and and she said well the doctors don't know and I'm like, oh, all right, okay. Yeah. But there's got to be some kind of trigger or something. And I, I often wonder, you know, yes, it could be um, something wrong with the organ itself or like these emotional blockages that are there yep. and, um, you know, things like that. And I, I'm just trying to go, it's not quite getting to the root of the problem, if you know what I mean? Yep. And, um, yeah, I just found it interesting. And then she was saying how there's so much sugar in, in the blood that it's actually not getting into the muscles where it needs to be used and, and worked and I'm like well you know how do we train the body or how do we tell the body to mm-hmm. how to do that you know and things like that so I just thought yeah. this was a very interesting formulation of 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 getting with the essence that it needs but also of the emotions behind yeah. why our organs aren't functioning as they should yeah that's does that make sense brilliant brilliant yes Lisa you, you you took the words out of my mouth and my friend her daughter has type one and she refused to um, accept that there's nothing you can do about it for the rest of your life, right? And so she took it upon herself for the last few years, changed the diet, changed the mindset. And this girl uses next to nothing, um, you know, next to no insulin. I mean, she monitors her daughter 24-7, really. But I'm like, oh, you know, you're amazing. I'm so proud of you. Um, she's like, yeah, just refuse because she wasn't born that way. Mm-hmm. you know and it was like nine years or 10 years old and it hit her but guess what she has two sets of grandparents on both sides that have diabetes right and hello of course a lot of that mindset is inherited so she's like no <laughs> and I'm like I'm so proud of you yeah that's a good question I'm like why why did it stop yeah go ahead uh, Sierra um, you just made me think of something else as well with, with that. My mom has been taking insulin for 24 years. I think, um, she was just completely taken off of insulin. So like that, the doctors are confused. Like they had to switch her to another doctor because her doctor's like, this isn't possible. We're going to have a second opinion. We're going to have you retested and da, 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 da. And, and not only did he take her off of so many of the medications that this other guy had her on, but completely took her off of insulin. (laughs) So, um, but what I was going to originally say, Lisa, I don't know if this will help you uh, or not, or like, I don't don't know. It helped me focus. Um, so I would say the past five years of my mom's life has, has, has been on a, uh, a roller coaster of whether she was getting better or whether she was not, not just getting worse, but going to pass away. Mm -hmm. So, um, when that first, when that first came 
you know, about and happened, I was really concerned, you know, um, okay, I need to prepare myself mentally because I'm not, I'm not good with those kind of surprises. So I'm like, I need to mentally prepare myself that I may lose my mom. And, um, and I remember talking to Jade about this several years ago. It like, it's actually a really beautiful thing. I might get emotional sharing this, but, um, like Sally's known me like 30 years or more. Um, and, and she knows a time in my life where if my mom had passed away, I probably wouldn't have cried. Mm -hmm. um, it would not have affected me the way that a daughter who loves their mom would mm -hmm. if she had passed away. And we have like healed so much, mm -hmm. so, so much, um, both of us and healed our relationship so much over the past many years that um, that is not the case anymore. And so five years ago, and it's been, when I say it's been one thing after another from the stroke to multiple TIAs to um, heart um, and then a quadruple bypass. And then, I mean, it's just been one thing after another, after another, where we've almost lost my mom several times. Yeah. And um, I am so, so at Thanksgiving, what made me think about this at Thanksgiving, we go around the circle before we say prayer on the food. And we talk about what we're thankful for that year. And um, I really wasn't sure my mom would be at Thanksgiving this year. And she was. Mm -hmm. So it was just both of my parents are here. And it was just such a great thing. We've had an extra eight years with my dad that they told us we wouldn't have because he had severe liver cancer. And um, so it, it's just been me focusing on all those things that I'm thankful for, mm -hmm. all those blessings. Like even if it was just one more day mm -hmm. that I got to spend, you know, with my dad, like tomorrow I get to celebrate my mom's birthday with her. Mm -hmm. um, and, and them, you know, going out of their way to come down to my house for Thanksgiving, you know, like they're getting really old and they've got some issues, but yet they still make the hour and 15 minute drive to come to us, you know, to eat dinner with us on Sunday, you know, this past week. And, um, so just focusing on what you're thankful for every single day, every single week, you know, every month if you write those things down, it makes those really like rough times where you do have mm -hmm. issues not seem so overwhelming because you know how many blessings you've been given as well. Yeah. Oh, Does that make sense? Perfect. No, it's perfect segue for this next part. Okay. Yay. Yay. I'm glad. I'm yeah. Glad. So, you know, thank, thank you for sharing that, Sierra, because you're right. We, we do have to stop and can our blessings and just be focused on you know what we we need to be grateful for even though that other stuff's happening there's always like this next thing there's always the positive sides yes yes thank you beautiful yeah that's that's so good because we do we we just need to and just be aware and intentional and mindful and then and choose differently um so here are the positive emotion we want to be feeling because remember emotions drive action Okay, so we're feeling these feels, like Sierra says, you want to serve other people some more. Um, so you want to, to focus on this love, passion, happiness, gratitude, calculated patience, happy, encouraged, sweetness, and joy and energy. Okay, so any, any comments there? You can focus on creating those our mind can be like oh over here but then none of this is helping us so we need to move over here and just intentionally choose to be happy okay yeah this needs to be posted on our mirror and we look <laughs> at the list every day this is what i'm creating today yeah yeah so here's the enlightened thoughts and beliefs to adopt so we can have more of those positive emotions so the thoughts create the emotions so here we are i cheer myself on as i move forward and that's who I am. I'm my greatest cheerleader because sometimes it's easy for you to feel discouraged or regretful. I could have done that better. I should have done this better. I should have remembered all this other thing. Um, you know, I'm grateful about everything. 
okay kind of like what you guys are saying just now grateful that you have another day grateful that um you know she's she's who she is you know even though she's stubborn <laughs> um i am focused on my life's purpose you know that's being more for others there All right it really drives you when you know you're feeling down you know just feeling so much love for others yeah yeah any thoughts comments All right so here are some affirmations guys i have divine help and wisdom to sustain my earthly journey okay um, sometimes we we doubt ourselves we need people to tell us that we're doing good i am constantly happy and hopeful All right so we talked about the emotional home before it's you know us bouncing right back even when we're discouraged here for a moment we bounce right back okay and then i choose to live a higher quality life you know if we haven't intentionally chosen that's why we don't have it so sometimes it's just that easy to like say hang on i don't want these bad 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 things i'm fighting fire with fire but hang on i haven't chosen to create a high quality life i haven't oops All right so there you go um i'll share with you a quick story my uncle who was diagnosed with diabetes type 2 um maybe six seven years ago and his wife and his daughter constantly nagged him oh you need to eat better you need to do this you need to do this and they, they were like you know pushing oils on him and all of these things and he, he pushed back of course right um and then they're like oh jade you got to talk to him he's so stubborn blah 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 and so <laughs> i'm like hang on a second you guys need to back up back off for, for a moment please because i think you know you're a bit much for him and they're like fine you know <laughs> and i said i'll talk to him when he's ready anyways only a few months went by and i i sat him down as he was telling me like look at my skin and look at my my face and my weight and all of this and i said uncle are you ready to heal and he says yes and i said i told the girls to to not you know be pushy but are you ready to heal and one of the things i asked him to do is can you list out two things that you're you're grateful for each day list out two things because all he was is work 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 and then the family's never happy with him and work 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 and i said you guys be grateful for him and i listed out you guys look you live in a great country you know you've got all of these goodies look you've got a great job and just listed it out and so they, they kind of refocused um their focus and within one year he healed he got off all his medications the doctor kind of gave him a clean you know deal of health so he did it but it's just like no oh, just help people you know be mindful um and positive okay all right so let's uh talk about the companion products you know this is a whole system there you get the oils the advantage and of course the assist so take metapower um assist with the metapower oil in your water you take it with the fiber okay and high fiber foods nutritionally dense food okay oops i just went by too fast go back oh okay all right yeah that's right i ask people that question a lot are you ready to heal otherwise i don't need to waste my time they don't need to waste their time <laughs> until they're ready okay all right here's some questions and then we'll end for the day um can you see yourself incorporating the metapower assist in your daily life Okay, so we mentioned that, um, you know, you can take it with your largest meal, maybe, um, or, or lunch so that you can sustain your energy, kind of see yourself using it for you to actually use it. Okay, so can you see yourself incorporating it daily. Um, I have a friend that she keeps forgetting. And so I said, put it in your purse. <laughs> so when you go out, you know, just even if you forget to take it half an hour before, even if it's five minutes before, it's still something, right? So you, you ordered some food and you're like, oh, 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 let's, let me go into my purse and get the assist and then just drink the water and drink the assist. Okay, something, just um, find a way you will remember to use it. Okay, so put it in your kitchen if you like. Um, so here, here's a question for yourself and you can share this with us if you would like to, but what um, brings you the greatest amount of joy? There's times that we kind of 
hold our breath and just do what has to be done and plow through. And we don't recognize what brings us joy. And I, I had to sit down with people. Um, you know, one lady, she, the lady that you know, was just, um, uh, you know, she, she barely opened her home up um, to the world since COVID. So I asked her, what was, what's the most joyful thing in your life? She took a couple of minutes to think about it because it's like, I don't know, just don't know, <laughs> you know? And it's like, I gotta keep the house clean. And, and I pretend that the house is all clean. Are you super, super happy now? Not really. And just, uh, you know, make sure everyone's happy and then pretend that everyone's good. Everyone is happy. Everyone is healthy. No boogers, no snotty, nothing. Everyone's healthy. healthy. Are you happy? And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so it's just, I feel bad because you've wound yourself up so much. And then, you know, you're so stressed and so used to coming up with more projects and more things to do. But she doesn't know what brings her joy. Okay. So if you write it down, then you identify, this really makes me happy. That not so much. And then give yourself permission not to do that so much. Yeah. And then find a way around it. Yeah, who's pointing a gun at your head and saying you have to do this? No one. It's just self-imposed limitations, right? Anyone want to add to that? And share your experiences. Um, I just wanted to say, okay, I'll share what my greatest joy is. Um, it is sharing adventures with my kids and my husband. So um, I love adventuring and that could be anything from just hiking to swimming in the ocean to zip lining in Brazil or something like that. Like it could be anything and anywhere. I love adventuring and um, I love sharing that mostly with my kids. Um, I remember when my kids were quite young and we would go on family vacations. We, we always had our three kids with us, plus one more um, that went with us almost every single year. And, um, and people are like, don't you ever just want to take vacation uh, with just you and your husband? I was like, well, me and my husband, we'd like, you know, to have some alone time here and there, but not for the big adventures and stuff. Like I want my kids to see as much as they can while they can, you know, before they get in the, the grind of a everyday job where they're stuck and can't go or can't adventure, you know, and, and right now we can afford to take them. So yeah. that's what I want to do. Um, so I remember at one point I was starting to like judge myself. This is many, many, many moons ago, um, and about my house, not being as neat and as, as clean as, uh, some of my friends and whatnot. And, um, and she's like, your kids are not ever going to remember that you like had a messy house. Like they're going to remember the things you did with them. Right. And as soon as like, I adopted that, like my kids come first and those adventures come first. So, um, like I had a big project I had started here when my daughter said, Hey, can you fly out to Seattle and, uh, let's go to Alaska together. And I had just started like this huge project and, uh, of re completely remodeling a room. And I like dropped everything and left. And my husband's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm like, I'll be back. It'll, it'll still be here and waiting on me when I get back. So all that's good. beautiful. Like that connection. So the joy you have is just sharing joy with people and yeah. making that connection. That's so beautiful. And I'm with you, Sally, you know, if I can just be alone, because I, I, I love serving and love helping people, but if I'm alone and quiet with my own thoughts, you know, some juicy things happen in here and <laughs> you know, I get to read or just get to sleep or whatever. Um, yeah, that's fun too. So, you know, you know what brings you the greatest joy. Yeah, and you know, give yourself permission. Yeah. Debbie, do you want to share? Yeah, I was just, I have a lot of things that bring me <laughs> joy, but um, probably connecting with friends and having DMCs, like deep, meaningful conversations. <laughs> we have an uh, 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 acronym for that now. So, yeah, <laughs> you guys know, because we talk about deep, meaningful conversations all the time. Yeah, we I just love call them our DMCs. DMCs. Yeah, <laughs> DMCs and um, like, like speaking truth, like just sharing truth. Like I love that. I love hiking. 
and um, I love learning. I love learning and then sharing what I learn with other people. So yeah, lot, lots of joy happening over here yeah. in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then look, you, you're not just a mom and a grandmother. You have a personality, you have likes and interests, you know, because you know yourself. Yeah. That's, that's what we want to encourage all of our friends to experience. Like, you know. Yeah, it's interesting that you just said that. If, if I may, I'll just share a, just a quick experience. So yesterday I was talking with, um, this is recorded, right? Anyway, I was talking with a family member and um, she's, she feels discarded. She's older. She's like 73 and she barely leaves the house. She has tons of health issues and she feels like her kids well, some of them have discarded her and she doesn't really have a, a purpose. She feels connected to God, she says. Um, and I was just able to share with her like some of the things that I've been doing and the things that I believe in, some of the principles. And I just told her, I said, like, this is this is God's calling for me and I will be doing this the rest of my life. Like I have no right to be bored. I have no right to be tethered to my home or I love my home. Don't get me wrong. Like I love being here. I'm here a lot, but there's so much I can do that. I just, um, I just can't imagine feeling like that. I just can't. Mm -hmm. And I think we, you know, that was kind of like the old mantra of mothers is that you can, I, you can only be as happy as your saddest child. And that is the biggest false belief <laughs> that there ever is. Like we're yes. doing them a disservice if we think that our sadness makes them happier. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> so anyway, so that. yeah. I think it, I think God's like his, that's the purpose, right? Men are that they might have joy. So yeah, that includes yeah. women obviously too. Yeah. So let's figure out what makes us joyful and do it. Yep. Yep. I love it. Can I just add one more thing to that. Um, like Sally just texted me and, um, and she was talking about like you and me time. So that is so true when you have like really close dear friends to your heart like that time that you get to spend together and love on each other and support each other and lift each other up and like praise their hard work and congratulate them, like support them when they're down. Like those are, it's just probably closer to the most Christ-like thing that you can be to someone. And I think that's really, really special to share. Mm -hmm. I love that. And that, that is the greatest joy, you guys, the connection to other people that you love. I was talking to my daughter today and she's on a mission. And I said, look, lots of people have lost that culture, their culture of connection. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. they just want results. They want numbers. And, you know, how about, how about we just talk and, and hang out and pick up the phone? How about we, you know, just uh, touch each other's hearts? You know, how about that? And, and, and then it's like, whoa. And I said, look, lots of people are, are lost and are confused because, you know, like, why do you want to go out to lunch with me? You know, or why do you want to, you know? And I'm like, because we're sisters, you know, we want to build this sisterhood and that's it. And they're like, whoa, I'm confused. But if you go to, you know, some other cultures where they haven't gone to that extreme of productivity, you know, like I hung out with a lady, um, you know, with that's um, she's uh, from you know the Middle East. Like she and her sisters and her cousins and her family, they're all so close. And we sat and talked for hours and hours. I mean, like people are not going to be like, oh, oh, um, I have to have a place to go, I have things to do, I have to rush, rush, rush. It's like here's this very quality time with each other, you know. And so uh, you know, I have a lot of friends that are still very connected, very tight knit with their families, and I'm like, don't lose that. And then sometimes people don't even know what that looks like, that to have that closeness. So we really need to kind of reintroduce it to the world. Last question, guys. What do you think you need to do to maintain and sustain your passion for life? So it's kind of like what we we're talking about just now. 
Yeah. What are some of the things? So when we write our journal or make plans, you know, you're telling yourself, this is how I'm going to be different. I'm going to, like for me, um, six years ago when I moved here to Florida, I said, look, I'm going to be free to serve. So I'm going to make time to serve and to connect with humans and make friends. Right. And that's, I intentionally did that. And I blocked out days where I can go to lunch with people. Right. And hours where I can do sessions with people and then time that I can make, you know, just content, online content for my friends. So just stuff like that. You don't have to sit down and go, do I like doing, you know, and I don't want to do that. That's too hard or that doesn't feel fun to me. And then don't. But if this is fun, then do this. Go ahead, Sierra. Um, my answer to that first, there's several answers, but first I've, and I, I didn't used to know this. I used to put everybody else for, I used to put on a happy face mask and act like everything was fine and try to make everybody else happy. Yeah. Um, what I have learned is my first answer to this is self-compassion because if I don't take care of myself, truly take care of myself and heal my heart and everything else, then I'm, I'm, you, you can't sustain it. You can't sustain that, that joy, that happiness, that, that passion for life. It's not sustainable without that. I love that. I, it's like telling people, fill up your cup first. So in the morning, fill up your cup. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Sometimes it's quick. You know, but somehow connect to the divine, fill your heart, and then you have a love with substance to give people. Exactly. Because right? you know how it feels. Otherwise, your love is hollow. You're doing it to be praised. You're doing it to look like you're a good friend or good mother or whatever. It's not going to last. Okay. It's not quality. Yep. Beautiful. Anybody else? Stop sharing here so we can see each other's faces. Yep. Anybody else want to share? Okay. So I have a question. <laughs> Like, all oh, that's good, but really the joy in my life would be if doTERRA could bring back that hair gel. So I just wanted to know if there was <laughs> anything on the horizon of that. <laughs> hair gel. Um, nothing yet. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Why don't we make you a serum? We'll send it to you. No, it was so funny when you were talking about how, because even Sierra's talked about with, um, you know, with the meta power and whatnot of how just happiness like she did this great thing on the on the uh, beach the other day and I'm like mm, jealous let me go walk in my backyard full of mud but it's fine full of mud <laughs> anyway, but with the whole you know joy, video of that. <laughs> joy and happiness and whatnot but she's also mentioned about her hair and her nails and you know and this I and that the other and so thinking of always you know doing something for yourself which we never do I mean look we're all ladies we you know kind of think for ourselves come on get real but anyway, but it was really funny because I was just talking about, um, I work with another network marketing company and so we have hair care and I was just, I was just telling my mother, I was like, oh my gosh, I've totally got to ask Sierra about that because I could combine this with that hair gel that doTERRA has, but they don't have it anymore. <laughs> and so then it was funny because Sierra's like, hey, jump on this call tonight because this is what we're doing. And I'm like, oh, my opportunity to ask about the hair gel. <laughs> I'll there's my joy it. there's my joy if I had yeah. here. all right I'll look into it <laughs> this has been great I would just I would just like to say Sierra invites me every Tuesday and I'm usually not able to jump on and tonight when she texted I was like I have to finish helping my son write his essays for college and then you know let me jump on so this has just been perfect timing I think also everything happens for a reason yep. Yep. And I've believed in that forever. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's just kind of one of more of those things that just, mm -hmm. you know, just piles on the positivity yeah, of all of it. So this has been well, great. So I'm glad I'm to glad have you, today. Sally. Yay. Sally, I think I have some hair gel for you. <gasps> she has connections, Karen, by the way. Karen's the <laughs> hookup. She's the Listen. <laughs> listen. Karen has a listen. You get it to Sierra. I will get to her. <laughs> Unless you're closer to me, then just come to Texas. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can ship it to you. Look at that. I like a good hookup. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Just saying. I'm going to stop the recording and then we can chat some more here.